Hey, Dad. Amazon just dropped off a big box. Well, move it into the house. Okay, well, bring it into the garage. This is a pretty big box. What's in it? The only way to know is to open it up. What are all these things? What can we make with all these different items? Let's sort them out and see what we have. Let's see, there's some screws and bolts. What do we use screws and bolts for? This is a screw and this is a screwdriver. Screws are used to hold things together. We often find there are two kinds of screws. One's a flathead. This is the kind of screwdriver I use for that, a flathead screwdriver. And this is a Phillips head. This screw has a different kind of head and has a different kind of screwdriver I use. For our project, we need a flathead screwdriver. In our toolbox, we have screwdrivers that come in many shapes and sizes. And we need these to do all the different type of jobs that we may come across. must be a bolt. We will need a wrench to attach this bolt. Another way to hold things together is with a bolt. Bolts have threads on them. You also need a nut which you attach to the thread turning it around. This is a nut. To hold these together tightly, you need a wrench to actually tighten the bolt to the nut. You put the wrench on one end, either on the nut or the head of the bolt, and turn it tight. And here are some robot hands. And this big giant piece must be the robot body. But what are these colored pieces? It's time to go to bed. You can figure it all out in the morning.
someone put the robot together. Listen to that funny sound. And it sure can move around pretty fast. Hey, maybe it can help us with our chores, like making our beds or vacuuming our room. We're taking out the trash. Or walking the dog. Hey, maybe even it can shoot baskets. That screwdriver and a wrench sure came in pretty handy.